Hey, what's up everybody? This is Gus, bringing you another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. The gameplay that you're watching right now is from the map, I believe it's called Complex. Pretty good gameplay. Check it out, let me know what you think. Uh, but what I want to discuss today is I want to talk about the things that people are doing on YouTube to try to get success. More specifically, I want to focus on the hating that people are doing. The hating from the smaller channels, making these videos against these bigger channels, you know, trying to talk crap about them, just basically trying to get subs, trying to get views, so on and so forth. And I'm hoping to use this video that people will watch this video and kind of understand why it's not a good route to take to try to be successful on YouTube. Now I can understand why people would want to go this route. You know, YouTube can be a very frustrating, you know, thing to get into. You know, if you're trying to, you know, grow your channel, so on and so forth. You know, I'm a smaller channel. I've only been making videos for about two weeks now, but I've been involved in the whole YouTube deal just through watching videos, you know, for about five years now. And I've subscribed to small channels, you know, that have maybe 50 subs to bigger channels with around a million. And I understand how the smaller guy, he's not going to get the views that, you know, he might think he deserves just because he's a small channel. You know, and based on that, it's easy to fall into the trap of, you know, saying, well, damn, you know, I'm, I'm a small guy, but my commentaries are just as, be you know, as good as this guy's. My gameplays are just as good as this guy's. Why the hell am I not getting the views? This guy sucks. You know, so even though it's easy to fall into that trap, I want to discourage people from going the route of hate because it's not going to give them the desired results. Now, I want to get into something that happened late last year. Now, I know a lot of you guys are aware of this, but for some of you that aren't, to summarize, there was this uh, small YouTube channel, I Fly Line Eye, and he made videos against this big YouTuber, Raw Instinct, basically calling him out for being a liar, cheat, thief. You know, calling him out for basically having all this success, stealing other people's ideas, you know, so on and so forth, making all this money that he didn't deserve. And based on this one video alone, I Fly Align, I pretty much grew his channel from 2,000 subscribers to within a few months, he had around 100,000. So I know a lot of people watch this video and they're thinking, hey, you know what, this guy grew his channel over a hate video, I'm going to do the same thing. So... Although it worked for Firefly Illini, you should avoid going this route for a few reasons because most likely it's not going to work. And the reason why it's not going to work is because the main reason why it worked for iFly is because he had the support of bigger YouTubers. Which is the key to all this is because the only reason why his video got out there is because we had some of these bigger guys promoting his video. You know tweeting his video, whatever, just getting, you know, the word out there on his video. So a lot of these subs to the bigger channel checked out this video, you know, and gave him likes, gave him thumbs up, subscribe, so on and so forth. And that's the main reason why he became popular and the video became popular was because of the support he had. If he wouldn't have had the support and he just put the video on his channel, he might have got a handful of views and that would have been it. And that's the thing, that's usually what happens, you know, I, I've done searches of, you know, hate videos for a variety of uh, big YouTubers and they might have a hundred, couple hundred views. They usually don't get a lot of attention because those, those videos, there's a ton of them out there, you know, and there's, there's been more and more made ever since the whole iFly incident happened. So you're not going to get all the views you want unless you get the support, which for the most part doesn't happen. You're not going to get the support usually from the bigger guys. You know, and at the end of the day, another reason why you don't want to make these videos is because if you're so upset or think that someone's videos are garbage, why would you want to bring more attention to their channel? And that's what you're going to do by making a video about them. People might, might, might not even know who you're talking about. Be like, hmm, I'm going to check this guy out for myself. And at the end, end of the day, you might be bringing him more subscribers, which is something you want, don't want to do if you really don't like somebody that much you should just go the route of you know not watching his videos maybe if you're subscribed unsubscribe that would do more harm 
been bringing more attention to his channel, most of the people that I'm subscribed to, I've honestly found through other people, through other YouTubers, maybe mentioning them in a video, whatever. And some of them, they might have even been hate videos, you know? It's like, all you're going to do is bring more traffic to the person's channel, bring in more views, more money, so on and so forth. So you really want to avoid that route if you're trying to, if you really don't like somebody. Also, you don't want to make a habit of going after these big YouTubers because, as I mentioned before, the only reason why iFly's video was popular was because he had the support from the big guys. And if you're hoping to grow your channel, sooner or later you're going to need help from one of these bigger guys. And who the hell's going to help you if they see you throwing all these guys under the bus? You know, they're going to be thinking, well, why should I help this guy if next month he could probably just say, you know what, this guy is a piece of garbage, whatever. No one's going to help you. They're going to avoid you like the plague. And you need to understand that. That at the end of the day, you're only hurting yourself. You know, you're not going to, you're just basically taking another person that might have potentially have helped you. You're taking him pretty much away. You're losing him as an option to grow your channel. And that's the thing is that you, you need to understand that at the end of the day, you're going to need support from another channel to you know to grow your channel and last but not least this is a big thing I think probably the biggest reason why you shouldn't go the hating route is that you're just gonna make yourself look like a bitch by doing it you know you're gonna look you're just basically gonna look like like a hater and that's a real bad look to have you know for anybody you know you're just gonna end up looking like you know, like you're jealous because he's got success and you don't. You know, again, that's another bad look to have. It's like you don't want to grow or end up looking like the guy that, oh, you know, he's just jealous of people's success, so on and so forth. It, it's, a, it's just a bad look to have, and you want to avoid it. And also, you don't get respect from the YouTube community. While well, you might not be like, you might guess, well, I don't need respect, but yes, you do, because to continue to grow your channel, you're going to need continued support. You know, try to find somebody out there that grew his channel just based on good content alone, and you're going to have a difficult time. You're going to need the help from other YouTubers, and if you don't have the respect, no one's going to lend you a hand. No one's going to want to be associated with you. So, getting fame by calling people out is definitely something that you don't want to do because people will always remember you for going that route to achieve your success. So they're going to say, you know what, this guy, you know, might have got... 10,000 subs out of this deal, but I'm not going to help him out because he's a dirtbag. So anyway, guys, um, hope you liked the commentary and the video. Think about what I said, and I'm out. Peace.